We fought back. We made our voices heard. We shouted into the wind. And we were met with somewhat of a compromise. They listened. Now has it ever been the same since the great rogue nerf? No, it has never been the same. But we at least got somewhat of what they took from us yesterday. And that was because our collective voices got louder. We shouted to the high heavens and Iron May somewhat listened. Now, originally, every class was able to two-shot you and even barbarians could one-shot you. But for some reason, it was a problem that rogues could one-shot you and it was probably because they could come out of invis and two-shot you. Not even one-shot, just two-shot. But we at least now have our weapon damage back on all of our armor. Is it the same as it was before? Actually, I think weapon damage is, but it's the, the plus all abilities is only one max now. It can't be higher than that, which, okay. I'll take what I can get. And you know what that means? That means all your moms want to have sex with me again now that I'm Giga Chad Road. So, we'll keep driving across those bridges. We'll rise up up the plateaus. And we'll keep going down that water. The bridges! We're gonna go to the beach! We're gonna go out of that hole at the beach! We're gonna keep driving down that road. The water! We're gonna go drive down that road next to the beach! The water! We're gonna rise above the trees. Above the clouds. We're gonna rise to the very tippy tops of the forest. Together! Subscribe for free right now to Twitch Prime. I'm only saying that because Brian's holding a gun to my head. Brian, please put the gun away. We have rogues back. Don't shoot me! Please! They thought they could take it away from us. A few weeks ago, they said, Rogues, you're dead. And then they gave it back to us a little bit. But then yesterday, Good boy, Brian. They took it away. But now it's back, baby. We have our weapon damage back and our plus all abilities on our armor. So now our weak little mosquito biting daggers could do a little bit more fucking damage. Justice for Spot. Cause we're 
micro PP gang. These nuts. Our time is roses now. It's time for us to rise up and fight back and be the Giga Giants that we used to be! But first, before we do anything else, we must go hype for this continuation of the gift sub that Hippie came in with for Bearded Cabbage. Let's fucking go. <sighs> Fine, I guess you are my little pog champ. Hey, you. You're finally awake. I'm so alone, no one to phone. Browsing the web, people call me a web. Please notice me, I wanna be one of your dear dreams. <laughs> Thank you, Bearded. Thank you for coming in with that continuation of the sub. What a legend. Oh, man. You guys are back. We're fucking back. Okay. I'm gonna play some Rogue tonight. Definitely gonna be playing some Rogue here in a little bit. I know it says the servers are being DDoSed, but uh, I, I was able to log in just fine. I logged into Dark and Darker, no problem. And I think we're going to get to that pretty quick. Um, even if it's just me, I'll do some solo Goblin Caves. We haven't done Goblin Caves in months. Sorry, my camera's falling. There we go. Yeah, we'll do some solo Goblin Caves. 
and then if uh, the bomb comes around, or if Crow's here, whoever, we'll, we'll, we'll do some duos, maybe even trios. But uh, if it's just me, we'll do some goblin caves. Goblin caves are good training, you know? Good solo PvP training. But, uh, but yeah, they will we'll go over the patch update here. Like, we'll read through everything. But um, basically, they reverted a lot of what they did. Um, there was a huge issue we learned. I didn't even know until I raided one peg at the end of stream yesterday that there was a huge issue with duping in the game. It was wild what was going on today. Everybody was just duping unique items and giving them to streamers. Repose was going in with like dual uh, death blooms and violas and just like like trying to take out the 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 cave troll, but it was it was fucked up. Even when Repose was using Death Bloom and the Viola or Viola, however you say it, it was taking him forever to kill the Cave Troll. What they did to Rogue Damage was so fucked up. But now they brought it back a little bit. We have weapon damage available onto armor, and they brought back plus all abilities. It's just only a max of one, which hey, that's fine. I still think if they want to take damage away from weapons or uh, sorry weapon damage away from armor and stuff like that they need to buff rogue daggers they need to give rogue stronger weapons or like better perks that make your weapon stronger like not nerfing weak point into the ground like I said multiple times in the interview and I even have a tweet here that I saw that I was like, yeah, this is, is like makes so much sense. Uh, Barb could two tap with horsemen. I've been one tapped by barbarians a bunch of times. Wizard could two tap with uh, a frost bolt. I've had that happen and zap. Uh, Rogue could two tap out of sneak with stiletto. Yeah. Fighter, Bard, Warlock could two tap with falchion and halberd. I've had that happen. Ranger could two tap with longbow. If everybody could two tap, what is the issue? Each pack bogs down the TTK and team comp. And makes a new meta where it's like this is the only meta that's really viable if you want to like kill people quickly. Like the buff ball, where you're like barbarian, wizard, cleric, or barbarian, bard, cleric, where you're just buffed into infinity and you just fuck everything up. And even Repogue said it. Not gonna lie, I don't care too much about the direction they want for gear in Dark and Darker. I just want Rogue to be playable. With all the damage removed from armor, the class is just dog shit. If they want to keep damage from gear scaled down, they need to buff dagger damage or overhaul perks. Agreed. 100%. Every other class had the ability to at least two-shot. I think the reason why people like spud hunter and them don't like rogues doing it is because they have invis and you don't see it coming which i think the fix to that is what iron mace did and say hey invis is only 15 seconds now that's fine most of the time when you're using invis you're not even using it to sneak up on somebody like repose rarely uses it to sneak up on people sometimes he would flank people yeah but most of the time he go he just procs and viz really quickly as he's running up to somebody and comes out of it instantly so they see him coming just so he can activate ambush ambush being the perk that comes that activates like a few seconds it's for a few seconds after you come out of stealth you have like do 50 percent more armor penetration now it's only like 30 or 35 percent since the great nerf but it's like so yeah like sometimes you use it to ambush people or to hide and that's where it really fucks you is when you're trying to hide from a group of three and they're like sitting there looting in a room and you're like oh fuck hopefully they leave in the next 15 seconds probably not but it's just i don't know just ever since that spud video man and i i, I respect spud as a content creator i think he's funny but he had an influence on that he did and he i i swear every single time i go into his stream i'll check in on him like once a week or every time there's like a patch or something like that 
right off the bat. I go in, he'll be like five hours into his stream. He's talking about rogues. Talking about rogues. And today, he was not just talking about rogues. He was talking shit about like Repose and Mendo. He was like, he wouldn't name them. People in his chat were naming them. But he was like, this guy is just like... Because there was like all these like threads apparently. I didn't find the threads. But people were calling for Repose and Mendo to be banned from the game. These fucking like psychos, dude. <laughs> because they're because they're too up, they're upset about rogues being nerfed, and they were vocalizing it on their streams. That's why. They're like, these guys are toxic, bro. And. People were just going off on Mendo in in Spud's chat. Like, he's going crazy on his stream right now. And he wasn't. He was just memeing and making jokes. Of course, he was upset. And he's like, this is ridiculous. And Repose was in his chat saying stuff. Repose had went live for only like two hours before that just to test it out. And was like, yeah, fuck this. I'm out. But they were all like calling for them to be banned. And Spud was just like, I don't want to like say their names or anything like that because I like them I think I think that he's a great guy I've played games with him before but like I think the way they're dividing up the community is not good and pitting the 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 game the gamers and the viewers against the devs it was so cringe dude yeah right in the same vein he should be banned for complaining there or be or just like shit talking them on his stream bro <laughs> That's like actually like TOS. But he wasn't like, he wasn't actually like going hard, but it was like, he was talking about rogues, how he was like, I just made like a video that was basically a TED talk about how uh, ambush in Viz Meta was cancer. And it's like, no, it wasn't, dude. It was not. Every other class had the ability to two shot if you had good enough gear. If you didn't have good enough gear, you're not two shotting. That it's not like, oh, Base kit rogue, you come out of invis with stealth ambush and you're two shotting people. That's not how it was. And and there are plenty of ways. Now, does every class have a way to detect invis? No. And maybe maybe the way to combat that is to give every class an, an ability to detect invis. Because as a wizard, you can place that light ball, which brings uh, rogues out of stealth. Bards can play their little song, which brings you out of stealth. But now, stealth is only 15 seconds. So it's like, you have 15 seconds if you're trying to, like, sneak and get the jump on somebody. But like I said, most people don't use it for that. Literally, most of the time, players like me, who are, like, mid-level players, yeah, will use it for that. But we don't have the kind of gear, usually, that Repose has to two-shot people anyway. So it's like, it helps us get a couple extra shots in there. But Repose literally runs up to somebody facing them, procs and viz while he's running, instantly comes out of it, and then stabs people. That's it. So, I just, I don't know, man. But, uh, yeah, we're going to play that here in a little bit. We'll get into it. We'll have some fun. Probably end up doing some solo goblin caves. But yeah, I, like I've said, every time, I'm not even exaggerating. Every time I open up Spud's stream, he's complaining about rogues. He'll be hours into his stream. Ooh, I love that emote. In a stab. You saw the other one, the other two new ones, right? The ones that the bomb made? So good. You didn't? Oh, here, let me, uh, wait. Oh, wait, where are they? Oh, here. They're not loading, that's why. Um... They're somewhere. It's in a dungeon and then in a rogue. Or wait, oh wait, no, in a rogue is the one that uh, Sizzle made. I just renamed it from Stabby Stabby. But then where is, oh here, in a cleric is right there. But then wait, where's the in a dungeon one?
Well, anyway, you just type it here. Oops. Wait, what? Why didn't it come up? Do you see it? It's it's coming up as blank when I typed it in. Do you see it or no? You see it? Oh, okay. Maybe it's just something wrong with my chat arena. Um, but yeah, there's a couple things I want to watch. A couple things. And then uh, we'll just get into playing Dark and Darker all night. Because, uh, oh, first, let's, before we do any, watch anything, let's just go look at my gear. Let's go look at my gear and see uh, what changed. Because yesterday, we looked and all my my weapon damage, my plus all abilities, all that had been changed to like spell casting speed and magical damage. So let's see uh, if it actually got reverted. And, and you know what? Before we get into anything, we'll just go over the patch notes real quick. We'll cover that a little bit. And then uh, we'll see what's up. We'll watch a few things. Not completely. Though. From what they said, like if you had something that was plus three or plus two all attributes, it won't be reverted. Uh, it'll it'll only be plus one all attributes. But weapon damage and all that stuff should be reverted. Okay, now I can't get the launcher to open up. There we go. But I thought they were going to do a full revert of the the last patch, but they only reverted some things, but the the stuff to the armor was pretty much reverted other than they're not being pl any more than plus 1 all attributes. So, whatever. That's fine. Well, let's see. Let's see what my gear looks like now. Oh! My cleric from... Okay, wait. Before we go to Rogue, this was the cleric I was playing yesterday. When I first started playing, I was only level 14. And then when we raided one peg and I saw the issue that was going on, I logged back in and my cleric had been brought back to 14 and all the gear we got was gone. So wait, now I'm 16 on this, but all the gear is gone. It's back to the original stash that I had. Okay. But it kept my level. That's interesting. Inter that's weird. I, I think that's cool, but it's also like, how does that, like all the gear is gone, but the level. Okay, whatever. All right, let's check the rogue. Um, That was the same. Yep, there we go. One weapon damage. Okay. Okay. Plus three weapon damage. Let's go, dude. That turned into this, like spell casting speed or something like that. Let's go, dude. Yes. We're back. We're back. Plus 10 armor rating. Plus one all attributes. That was like plus two, but that's fine. Okay. All right. Uh, wait. Oh, no. Okay, no. The, so, this is back to plus true physical damage, plus additional physical damage. Okay. Okay. Um, plus one all attributes, three additional physical damage. Okay. Plus one all attributes. Let's go. Additional move speed. Armor penetration. Some of this stuff was still the same. It always was. Plus one all attributes again. Let's go. Plus one all attributes, plus three weapon damage. Plus one weapon damage. Okay. Plus one all attributes. Weapon damage. Weapon damage again. Let's go. Attributes. Weapon damage. Okay. Plus two weapon damage. Let's go, dude. We're fucking... We're back. We're back. Somewhat. Somewhat. Let's check my weapons. Okay. Okay. Weapon damage is back. Okay. Okay. Armor penetration, physical damage, okay, plus one all attributes. And that's the only reason I bought this dagger. Like, plus two will and plus two magical power, garbage. But at least it has plus one all attributes. 
Plus one physical damage, armor penetration, okay. All attributes, okay. Okay. Oh, but it reverted my uh Demon's Glee. Ooh, and some catnip infused? It's all catnip infused? That's crazy. Dude, I, yeah, they're in heaven right now. So wait, catnip infused, does that run out eventually to where it doesn't have the catnip? They're going to be going up there like fiending. They're going to be like, <laughs> after a while, like, please, please give me a catnip. <laughs> no more. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta make a demon's glee again, but not this one. This is these stats are not what I'm looking for. I wanna find one that has more more we actual weapon damage, maybe even some plus attributes. Oh damn catnip oil, they got that catnip oil extract, bro. That concentrate? Oh shit. What happens if we take have you ever tried catnip? I haven't. I've never had cats before. I've always had dogs. But like, could humans take catnip and get fucked up? Or is it only a, a active compound that fucks up cats? And is catnip cheaper than weed? Because you know I haven't been I haven't smoked weed in a while, but if I can afford some catnip, I'll I'll try it out. So that's cool. We got some good our good gear that we spent a week grinding for filling up our stash is all back to what it was let's go hog let's go over the actual update um but yeah like i was saying and here before we uh before we look at the actual we're gonna look at some of these memes but before we look at the patch there was one meme that we need to see okay no these are all new but somebody took a screenshot of the trade chat. What it looked like when the duping was going on. Oh, I'm so, okay. I was wrong a little bit. People were calling for uh, Repose and Mendo to be banned because uh, like they're upset and were complaining about rogue nerfs. But the main reason people were calling for them to be banned is because they were exploiting the dupe thing. They weren't duping themselves. But they were just like accepting free gear from everybody in their chat. Uh, that was all duped, like dupe legendaries or unique items. And it's like, bro, it's none of it's gonna save. They're gonna wipe this in like a couple hours. This is just like fun content. It's hilarious. Like I said, Repose was running around with dual death blooms and violas, and just it was funny as fuck. But people were like, they're exploiting the game right now. This is fucking madness. What is going on? They need to be banned and punished. Like, chill the fuck out. Where is it, though? There was a, somebody posted a picture in here of the trade chat. I hope it didn't get deleted. Um, no, it was from today. Okay, yeah, I'm way too far back. We're going to look at some of these. Where is it? Oh, maybe it's gone. Might have got taken out. Maybe I didn't see it here. Maybe I saw it on Twitter. Hold on, let me let me go check Twitter real quick. Go full cam. Can't pull up Twitter. Uh, cannot pull up my my Twitter feed. I got the best Twitter feed, but not for Twitch. No, it's not here either. Huh. Well, anyway. Somebody had screenshotted the trade chat and every single trade that was going on was a crazy unique legendary item. And it's because everybody was duping them and Mendo and Repose were taking advantage of that and 
they were being funny about it too like repose would like get traded by somebody and it would be the same person over and over and he'd be like damn the boss is fucking treating you good today you got that again from the boss and it has the same attributes what bro that's crazy what's going on today dude it was so good <laughs> it was so funny one peg was doing it everybody was doing it nobody was calling for one peg to be banned though only repose and mendo only them um catnip tea is a thing but it's not good to actually smoke it oh but you can drink catnip tea oh but i bet it's not like oh maybe it is like the active ingredient in catnip yeah, yeah i don't know i'll try it out maybe i'll do that on stream one day his content but here let's go over the actual patch um uh where is it um okay so yeah we raided one peg and instantly it was like oh there's a problem he's talking about right now what's happening and it, he made me realize that nothing was saving so i went and logged in and i realized oh yeah all the stuff the bomb and i did last night was for nothing we uh we lost all the gear and i lost all my levels now we saw when i opened it up i gained my levels back but i still had lost all the gear but i think that's fine because the change that they did for chests, how much loot was in them, was ridiculous. If they were talking about, like, disincentivizing people and making people unmotivated to go loot because they had good stuff in the vendor, it was way worse in the game yesterday with how much shit you got. You would, like, you were coming out with, like, 400 gold runs, dude. I remember I had, like, a 300-something gold run. Not even having, like, that was only, like, in collectibles. It wasn't even, like, in stuff that I could go sell. It was ridiculous. It, 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 there should ne it's like, it, it felt like I was, like, playing Fortnite. I thought they were about to put out a, an announcement being like, all right, guys, we're changing the way you, like, load into the game. We're going to have you, like, in a fucking bus that's floating in the sky, and you're going to jump out of it. You can thank the bus driver as you're leaving. Then once you hit the ground, you're going to spawn in with nothing, and you have to go around and loot for your weapons, and then you have to kill every player. Last one wins. Because so you open up a chest, it felt like Fortnite, dude. It's ridiculous. What up, Rack? Yeah, I hope they never go back to having it be like that. Because that was ridiculous. It, it's so much better when you open up a chest and you get like one thing, maybe two. And if you open up an, a big gold chest, then you could. there's like a possibility to get some really good shit. But normal chests should not have like 30 fucking silver in it. Or like I'd be getting like 30 gold. The swipe boost. Yeah, loot quality is fine. Like, like having a higher chance to get... Because they took blues and greens, most of them away from the vendor. I don't mind having the possibility of getting better loot. But yeah, how much was in it was like ridiculous. That was crazy. I actually need to go back and clip that. I did, I did my editing and clipping last night. But I didn't clip any of the moments when we opened up a chest. I saw one pick kill an elite skelly and got a purple falchion, purple ring, and 20-something gold. Yeah, and a green lantern. Now, see, if you have the possibility of getting a purple falchion off of an elite skelly, hey, that's cool. But it shouldn't be like an every time thing. And you should not be getting any other purples and 20-something gold and a green lantern. Green lanterns go for like, that's like 30 gold, I think, 25 gold. Ridiculous. All right, Rack, we'll see you later, man. And I would, I don't, if I were, I saw you said in the Discord and I saw that they had posted it. I was able to log in just fine to Dark and Darker. I don't know if the DDoS is still going on or if I'm just not affected by it. But, uh, okay. So we saw that was going on with one peg. I logged in, realized all my progress was done. And they said, uh, shortly after that, they said, first of all, we apologize for an unexpected item change in Hotfix 15 that wasted your time and effort. That's literally what I complained about. My post on TikTok here. That that's the, I did this. Okay, Repose, Mendo, and myself 
fix this, okay? We are the reason why they went back on this. Spell casting speed, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? Magical power. Great, dude. I spent like 400 gold on this fucking piece of gear. We did this. Thank me later. Or now. I went from having 2,000 gold the other day down to 300 because I spent so much money on all this good ass gear. My whole last week was a waste. It was yeah, a waste. It was. So yeah, we did this. You're welcome. Thank me now or later or just send your mom my way. Um, We should have handled it. Or we should have handled it more smoothly. We will try to do better next time. Sorry. This is the second time they've apologized. The first time was ridiculous, in my opinion, <laughs> when they apologized for what we all had to endure with rogues. But... This time, I'm, I accept the apology. I accept it with open arms. Cheryl said, thank you. Thank you very much, bearded cabbage. And we're currently investigating a serious issue and we plan to proceed with the next hotfix as soon as we're ready. After assessing the extent of the damage, we will share the direction of the next patch. We apologize for any inconvenience caused. They apologize twice, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we identified the problem and the cause and found the cause we will share about this soon and how we will respond Hello everyone. We have identified the core problem and took the time to evaluate some possibilities as well as putting an action plan together First of all the current problem occurred because of an error with the master database and the, the read database These two were not properly synchronized due to a network error because data could not be read properly from the database There are causes where past data is being read the, da the database issue had side effects with our rollback logic, causing many item duplication issues in the game. <laughs> it was hilarious, dude. Great. It was a funny day. It was a funny day. To fix this issue, we plan to restart the server, apply the hotfix 16 patch, and roll the game back to around 9 a.m. UTC October 5th. So that's like rolling back basically the patch. Um, additionally... With Hotfix 15, we were so focused on not having to worry about legacy items that we made the mistake of making drastic balance changes that wasted players' time and effort. I'm really sorry about this oversight. To a, I think, I, I'm glad they're they're saying that. They need to wait to do this stuff. Like, if they want to make crazy big changes, wait till like right when you do a, a wipe. Like, wipe everything, wait till after, like, leaderboards are done, which I know there aren't leaderboards right now, but wait for a season, even if that season is two weeks, go two weeks, and then, like, have, like, a three-day, like, period where they test something out. They're like, alright, this is, like, a test, couple testing days, and we want to test out some crazy shit, because, like, they just do this too much where they drastically change crazy shit after they did like a change that we're like just getting used to and then two days three days later they make this crazy drastic change to it and then they revert it and it's like dude just like wait wait two weeks let us go through a season let us experience this and then change it like they're just doing it way too much and their changes are just way too drastic sometimes way too drastic yeah, Sizzle, I hope you don't mind I changed it to Inner Rogue instead of it being Stabby, Stabby, Stabby. I hope you're cool with that. Growing Pains. It is, and it's early access, and it's early access for a reason. Like, I, I get that. They're trying to figure out a good balance, but they throw the balance. Like, they dr drastically change the balance so much that it just it upsets us. It, it makes us like, what is going on? You ruined our class type shit. Um, to apologize and give back to our player base for their hard work, we'll be taking this opportunity to roll back the balance changes to a slightly altered level uh, at Hotfix 14. So, yeah, like we said, that means they didn't fully revert everything. Like, we don't have plus three attributes, but we have plus one all attributes. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, the main thing that we were all upset about that that does affect rogues that is like a silent rogue nerf because rogues 
daggers do so little damage that we relied on plus attributes and plus weapon damage to like be able to be viable playable but now we at least have plus one attributes and our weapon damage is back um this should bring all items back to their original state as of october 5th other than all attributes it's only plus one now i'm pretty sure i don't think it's gonna go above plus one attributes uh i don't know i'm not sure science i have no idea that's a good question but all i know and what i've known from the very beginning is that rogue starter kit insanely bad you have the worst weapons in the game and even once you start getting better ones like a purple stiletto what like less than 30 damage so we relied on that weapon damage and the attributes to like even make it viable but you got people like Spud Hunter being like, dude, they could two-shot you out of Invis. Yeah, so could every other class, dude. If you have good enough gear. It's not like, like I said, it's not like base kit rogue or even like mid-level kit rogue is going to two-shot you out of Invis. We all remember the clip of me attacking that rogue when i had just a rapier base kit with a, a a white rapier took me six hits to kill that base kit wizard wild which i don't mind i don't mind if that's how they want it but every other class being able to two shot you and it took me that many hits like come on if i wanted to yeah i agree i agree um, we will take this time to fine-tune our upcoming balance patch even more. We will test our intended balance during the next wipe after the new leaderboard season to avoid inconveniencing existing players. That's what they need to do. Like, I just said this. I'm glad they said this because they need to wait. Give us time to experience the patch. Like, the patch they just put out after the wipe, the inventory wipe. Let us experience this and then put out a huge change after, like, a season, you know? Additional, additionally, as an apology for all these inconveniences, we plan to provide five blue stone shards to all players who log in after Hotfix 16. I'm sorry if, uh, this has been such a roller coaster ride for our fans. We're working as fast as possible to create a great game environment. Um, okay, so then here, now they, this is the actual patch. Uh, fixed an issue where Earthquake was doing more damage than intended. That's something that everybody was talking about. Everybody was saying, hey, if you're a cleric and you're not running Earthquake right now, you're dumb. It's like, it's so, it's so OP. And uh, they, uh, we, everybody was like, when the patch came out like two days ago, everyone was like, why is, or yesterday, everyone was like, why did they not fix that? They did all this other stuff, but they didn't fix Earthquake. But still, Earthquake's still great. Uh, rolled the game back to around 9 a.m. Uh, so like reverting that last patch, basically. And all the items and stuff to like, to what you had before. Item random modifiers have been rebalanced back to, uh, to, to similar to Hotfix 14, meaning it's not totally, you don't get all attributes back, plus two, three, you get plus one. Um, the total amount of additional slash true magical damage that can be obtained has been slightly increased. All attributes was limited to a maximum of one, like I just said. Two additional blue portals have been added to the ruins. That's interesting. I've never, I don't think there's... I don't think I've, maybe a couple times I've died in the ruins, but I don't feel like I've ever had an issue finding portals in the ruins, but cool. The quality of items dropped by chests have been slightly reduced. I hope it's more than slightly though, because it was wild last night. That was too crazy. And then all players will receive five bluestone charts. I'm going to have to go check if I got those. I didn't, I didn't even check. And then yeah, the DDoS that was going on. I don't think that's being uh that's being affected anymore though. Let's uh let's open this up. Let's see. Let's see if I got my my shards and we'll buy some new emotes. That means I'm gonna be able to buy the thumbs down. Ooh, let's go. Let's go, dude. 
I honestly, like, don't think they even need to do this bluestone shard thing. I don't. They could just be like, hey, rogues, you're playable again. <laughs> and, like, all they had to do was just be like, hey, we're reverting the, the changes we did to the armor so you have weapon damage again. And attributes but hey if they if they feel like giving us presents i'm cool with that i'm all about it let's go man i'm ha i ha i am having a hard time opening the launcher been the since i st oh oh it's because it's already open <laughs> that's why got it um but i don't think they needed to give us any shards but hey i'm here for it I, it makes me feel bad that they feel that bad that they have to be like here. We're sorry. It's like no just just revert the changes <laughs> You're good like Oh, I understand it's early access, but when you make a class unplayable You have to expect at least that portion of the community to be very upset. Just revert to changes though But once they revert the changes to rogue then you're gonna have the whole other side of the community being like this is ridiculous KJ, I am totally down for you to teach me how to play uh, League, but the reason I've been tweeting that is because there's a baddie that follows me that I'm trying to get to teach me how to play it. So I'm just waiting for that to happen. But if that doesn't happen, then you could teach me how to play League. She likes all my posts that I make of my dog, but she hasn't she hasn't responded though, so I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! I can get the elf skin, dude. But I feel like if I want to min max, I should get the orc skin. For the plus one strength. Ooh, fuck. I could also get this. Wait a minute. The Carol one, this is an only pay to dance. Okay. This is pay to dance. Got it. I got the frantic applause already. Yo. Okay, 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 okay. I would love to get this. Damn, I didn't realize the bombs pay to eat rabbit, dude. That's cringe. <laughs> I believe so, KJ. I believe so. But no, you could teach me. It'll be funny as fuck. I love, I love the way you, uh, you interact on your stream and stuff. I think it'll be really funny if we do something like that. But yeah, the reason I've been tweeting that, I don't mean to like, like. Like to to like don't wall you when you're like oh me like or put the eyes. It's just I'm posting those for a specific reason. Um. Yo, okay. As much as I want to get this elf skin because of how in love with this elf I am. I think I'm gonna get the orc skin for the plus one strength, pay to pay to win. But now it's 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 uh, Iron Mace paying me to win. Damn, I've had a lot of extracts. I think I'm gonna get it. I think I'm gonna get it. Yeah, and that's something, I'm gonna be honest, I think they should take out. I don't think that's fair. I think it should just be cosmetic, but hey, I'm here, if, if it's available, I'm here for it. So now, we equip that shit. And let's make sure we have all the emotes. Yeah, we do have all the emotes that we have, okay. And then wait, I have one more. Should I save this one more so I can get this or no it's gonna it's gonna take me so long so let's get the uh 
Cutthroat too. Okay, I think I'm gonna get thumbs down. Okay, no, that one's good, but I think I'm gonna get thumbs down. Yeah, thumbs down. Let's go. New emotes, new skin. Um, frantic applause. We're going to put that there. And then thumbs up right there. Thumbs down. Okay. Pog. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think it does give a pay to win element. Yeah, I understand the D and D element too. I do, but I, I, I hope in the future they get rid of that. I don't think it's fair. Some people, it's you. It's literally pay to win or grind to win, but you have to grind a lot. Like the first couple triumph levels, it's like twenty five uh, extracts and you get a shard. Then it's fifty. Then it's a hundred. Then it's two hundred. Then it's four hundred. So it's kind of crazy i think every once in a while though they are gonna wipe triumph level so it goes back down to only needing 25 to get one and 50 but they don't they're not doing that yet and so it's it's pretty much either, it's pretty much pay to win for anybody that doesn't have them